Normally when you go to create routines to adjust the volume on all of your speakers in your home, well, you end up with one routine per speaker and that's going to take you forever. The good news is if you know how to do this, well, you're going to be able to create one routine with one single command in it to adjust all of the speakers in your home. And what you need to do is create a multi-room audio group that includes every one of your speakers in your home in that group and don't worry you can create multiple of those multi-room audio speaker groups and include whatever combination of speakers you'd like whenever you want. From there, it's that single command. It's a customized action that allows you to set the volume in the name of that multi-room audio group and you've done it all at once. Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life and today I'm going to take many frustrations out of automation by giving you the inside track, all of these hidden tips, tricks, little hacks that we have with Amazon and their wonderful routines feature. I think many of us have been at this spot and you go and you create a great routine and it's got seven or eight steps in it and there's some specialized things that you've figured out and then you go, you know what, I'd like to do that again and you become frustrated and I've ended up leaving the application. Instead of doing that, there's now a menu inside of each routine that allows you to actually copy a routine and basically start again with a new trigger. If you're like me, you're probably helping out a few people with their smart homes and those routines can be the hardest thing for people to set up. And so right below that copy routine button is a share routine button that you're now seeing. And as you share that, you get a link. And if you send that link to someone, well, they can tap on that on their phone with the Miss A app installed and then they'll be able to do a little bit of work and do it. But if they're not capable of it, this is your opportunity to create a link, send it to your own email, and then switch over to their Miss A account on your phone and then tap the link and you can get it set up for them. Now, one of the things that has caused me to wanna to make a new routine and use that copy routine button is the fact that I can't change the trigger. But again, on this menu is the ability to change the trigger. And the other thing you're going to see right here is the delete routine. And you might wanna do that, but I find at the top of each routine using the enabled disabled toggle is the better thing because you may want to come back to that someday. Music commands within routines are some of the most powerful and we all use music on these things but what I like to do instead of using the alarm section is actually to create routines that allow me to set genres that I'm playing in the morning or radio stations or different playlists that I have. But whenever you're playing something there's some little addendums that we can put on commands here within routines and this becomes really powerful when you think about kids going to bed at night you want to start a white noise machine well you include the term on repeat at the end of whatever it is you're playing so white noise on repeat all night you're good to go the other thing that you can do especially if you're someone who's created a very large playlist of music well you can actually say that name of that list on shuffle and it will shuffle that and play from a different point each time so it really gives you that variety of music you're going to want. If you haven't used music in routines in a while then you might not know that you can actually set a timer so this creates a really easy way to give kids 10 minutes of music before bedtime. If you haven't been in the routine section in a while or you're just not normally paying attention well then you might have missed that there is this menu that says featured and actually if you go in there and you have a fire tv there's going to be a take a snack break type of routine and what that routine does is it pauses your fire tv and it turns on a light now that's a really great and simple routine that you can go in and enable today and that's what those featured routines are but what you can also do is use a number of new capabilities that are available on those fire tvs but my favorite is definitely going to be getting some assistance in choosing what i'm going to watch that's one of the hardest things and 
what you can actually do with the right command is search the interface. So I've created this routine called fire the comedies and you could put it for an actor's name or a genre just like I have or multiple genres and then have the interface searched and it will bring up things that you're probably going comedies. to want to actually watch. So as you go and you create those different searches and you use something like fire the comedies as your quick words or your quick command, what you're actually doing is creating something that is easier to remember. It's really hard to remember all the different commands that you can give this voice assistant. And so what you're actually doing is making it easier on yourself. And this is especially useful when you think about helping someone who's a little less technically inclined or maybe can't remember all of these different commands and maybe the best one that I have used to date is when you go and you just make it simpler to call someone. So for example the command can be as simple as I'd like to talk to my son and have that do a video call to the person and, and then you would use the specific contact name in their contacts Ooh, and want you would cause that all to happen. Skills are one of the most powerful components of Miss A and the voice assistant in general because really you can access just about anything and it's becoming an incredible app store. Now, they are really easy to integrate into routines. That's not a tip or a trick. You just hit a couple of buttons and you can start any skill. Now, I know you're just like me and you're not gonna really wanna go read the description, but take a minute go read the description in one of your favorite skills and what you're going to find are a couple of other commands that are sitting there and they will oftentimes take you to a different point in the skill and so you know I was using a rain sounds or a sounds generator a white noise generator skill and instead I wanted to get just straight to thunderstorms and I saw this embedded in the description and that's where customized actions within routines become so powerful because you can actually take that command just put it in a customized action and it will take you right into that skill at the right spot. What you might not know about routines now within the smart home is just how many different devices you can use to trigger these routines. So you can create true automation. Now, as we go here, I promise most of you are gonna know what I'm gonna start with, but as we go, it's gonna get crazier and crazier. If you have a smart home hub like Samsung Smart Things or Hubitat or another one, and you have a bunch of motion sensors or contact sensors, well, they'll integrate with Miss A, you can bring it in here and then those can be used as triggers for your routines in a couple of ways. And actually, if they're Zigbee versions of the motion or contact sensors, then you can connect them directly to an Echo fourth generation here with a Zigbee hub or there's a number of other Echoes that had Zigbee hubs in them as well. But nowadays, many video doorbells come with a trigger that is the ring trigger. And that means when they're rung, yeah, it's gonna trigger a routine. And with a customized action now, you can actually display those up on your different Echo Show devices so that you can see who's rung the doorbell automatically. You'll also find a number of triggers like the temperature sensors inside of Echo devices like this. Plus, you have door locks that have the open or unlocked and locked status, but they also usually have a jammed status that you can trigger off of. And I talked about doorbells, but actually I have a Eufy home base that has an armed and a disarmed status as well that I can use as a trigger, which would allow me, if I could, to arm and disarm my guard service with Amazon. Now what you'll find as you go into a routine and you try to enable Amazon Guard, well, number one, you can't do that if it's location-based, and number two, you can't disarm Guard through a routine. That becomes a real pain point really quickly, but what I'm going to tell you in both of those situations is that you can use a customized action. And actually, when you leave your house to turn on guard, what you say is, I'm leaving. And when you come back, you say, I'm back. And those are specialized commands for Miss A to turn on and turn off their Amazon.
Amazon Guard service. So that's what you put in the customized action portion and it will bypass that whole gap that we have here with location-based triggers and with synchronizing and turning off our Guard system. If this then that has fallen a little out of favor as of late, and that's because they only let you do three very simple applets for the price of free. And then after that, it's a whole $4 a month now that will get you all of these extra features and capabilities that you might find really useful with Miss A. And before you all go typing in the comments, I know you've never wasted four whole dollars in a month in your life. Now the first thing is really simple because you can connect if this then that and miss A and then you're able to within a routine run an action that starts an if this then that applet and that would give you access to all of their services from a routine triggered here. But stepping outside of routines for a second there's actually way more triggers available than you might expect and it's anything to do with your to-do list or your shopping list if you're pulling items off or adding items on well you can kind of go and replicate that elsewhere but what you might not know is that if this then that can actually be the trigger for your miss a routines and this is going to take a little bit of work so what we're going to start with is by searching for a specific skill in the miss a skill store you're going to enable that and then you will see the option to define three devices and you can define the names now or you can change the names later but what you're going to do is create those three devices and if you decide you want more there's a little fee to get more of those devices but then you're going to hit the discover my devices and those will show up and they are just like a doorbell. So they give you the ability to trigger with those. Let me give you a, a couple of examples here of how this could be used. Let's say you're following someone fantastic on YouTube. You want a notification here that they have posted a video or you want a notification that, you know, you're following this great automate your life guy on Twitter and you want to know when he tweets something out. Well, you can actually do that just by setting that variable or turning on that variable and that will trigger the routine here. But here's something that I think a lot of you are going to want to do right away. And I've actually used this to monitor a stock. And I started with Apple stock and a service called Updraft. Now Updraft allows you to set some parameters for kind of when you'd like a notification. And let's say you get a notification that's basically telling you to sell. Well, I created a variable within Miss A that was called stock sell. And so when I turn that on, well, I get a notification, an actual audible notification out of this device that says it's time to sell that stock. And I did the reverse when it's time to buy that stock. So Updraft gives you this really great opportunity to kind of follow a stock as it goes through its ups and its downs. And one other example for you, because what has happened here with Miss A and the Wise set of devices is a lot of loss in terms of the triggers that we have available to us. And so if you go through if this then that, you actually have the ability to trigger off many more things. And so I think this is well worth the few dollars it would take to go and create a number of different applets and a number of different devices from this skill. But hubs can go and take this whole situation a lot further and they're usually free every month. So I know they're more up your alley because you don't waste any money on silly things. One of the ways they do this is they give you the ability to create a virtual switch and think of it like a real switch except you can't physically press it but you can press it usually inside of the hub and therefore you can use it in automation and even in some specific cases you can use it here. In the end, what these virtual switches will give you the ability to do is to trigger off of any event in your Samsung SmartThings hub or your hub that you have. And this becomes really important because if you remember way back at the start of this, I said, well, you could trigger motion and contact sensors. You can trigger those routines with those, but I never said things like leak sensors or light switches throughout your home or other more complex events, things that have multiple conditions. Well, 
virtual switches can be used as basically a switch to say, yes, I'd like that routine to start. So I'm gonna try and explain this in a couple of simple steps. Now, Samsung SmartThings has an event that you would like to capture and then you turn on that virtual switch. That virtual switch turning on causes the Amazon routine to start. Now, if you need help with setting that kind of a scenario up, there's a video that is down below right now that will help you set up virtual switches and get routines to trigger over here. And actually, you can go both ways. You can trigger Samsung SmartThings automations. Otherwise, thanks for watching today. And of course, don't hate, automate.